Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. So, I've always said it that confession is good for the soul, not always great for the reputation, and I have a little bit of a confession for all of you today. So, you know, I, I have this new book out called Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life, and in it I discuss God's plan for our happiness by looking at both the Beatitudes and the fruit of the Spirit. And I've been talking a lot about it. You know, not only the two-minute messages, you know on the two-minute messages, but I have a, a, a Jesus is Real radio ministry. I have the Real with Daniel Fusco TV show. I've been doing podcasts. i got the new Crazy Happy with Daniel Fusco podcast and the book and all these different things. And I've been doing interviews about the book. And I've been talking a lot about these things. And I was really convicted because the eighth characteristic of the fruit of the Spirit that you could find in Galatians chapter 5, verse 23, is gentleness. And I've been making the case that we need to be gentle because every everything is fragile. And as I've been thinking about the fruit of the Spirit being gentleness, I'm aware that gentleness is, you know, it it really speaks of, and the Apostle Paul uses this imagery, that we treat people gently like a nursing mother cares for her child because they're dear to us. And and this idea of being gentle, it, it really speaks of like kind of a mellowing out of the sharp edges in our character. And I keep saying that we need to be gentle because everything is fragile, but I've been also really aware that I'm not the most gentle person. Sometimes with my words, sometimes the way I handle the situation, I can be very much like a, let's get the project done and I don't take the time to see people. I'm, I'm aware of all of these areas in my life that aren't really quite gentle. Now, I share this with you because one of the things I love so much about walking with Jesus is he's working on all of us. We're all in process and today is a day to grow and I get excited when I get convicted by the Holy Spirit because I don't feel condemned. I know I'm imperfect. That's why I believe in Jesus. But I love when God reveals to me, hey, this is an area that I want to work on because God loves me me just the way that I am, but he loves me too much to keep me this way. And that same thing is true for you. So listen, today is a day to be in the word and allow the spirit of God to convict you of the areas where you're not quite like Jesus, but not because he's mad at you. He loves you enough to, to bring that, that chastening, that discipline in your life because he wants to grow us up. Now, this is what we do. First, I want you to share this video because God's working on all of us. Just a matter of, are we going to resist what he's doing or are we going to surrender and let him do his work? And in the comment section, what is God convicting you on right now? What are you working on right now? So that we can learn from each other. Sometimes what God's working on some another person, God, it's what God wants to work on in me as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the Spirit is convicting you and how He's growing you up so that we can all grow together. And God bless you today.